build a piggy bank off too. So um, <laughs> man, you know, I just want to first off thank all y'all, man, for um, being some of the coolest people that I know. You know what I mean? Like when, when like I came up with the idea, like I'm like, man, like we should do like a, a, a pod. I want to do a podcast. I was like, man, um, what can I do to like stand out? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what can I do to like make it worth it? You know what I mean? And like, it was easy to like pick one or two other people and be like, yo, we finna just like get together every week and talk shit. But like, how challenging, but at the same time, in return, how dope would it be to just get like a group of just like intellectual brothers and sisters? And like talk shit, and like what what type of situation can we create that we'll look forward to every week, mm-hmm. rather than it's like, huh, I'm finna come in here, ooh, same old, same old routine. Hmm. So that's why I was like, yo, fuck a podcast, nigga, we finna do a squadcast out. Squadcast, <laughs> yeah, we finna <laughs> squadcast. <laughs> Out here, it's just like you said, you're doing a podcast. We're doing squad cast, we soldier boy. Drinking drinking cheap wine brought to you by Will. <laughs> <laughs> you know I like to make the point that you got a cup, though. You got a cup, though. All right, indulge in cheap wine. Beggars can't be choosers. Look, it, was, it was free to me. I'm not mad at anybody. Mm. But I'm trying to drive, like cheap or expensive if that shit is free. And it's it good. Cost me yeah, free okay, that's the first thing we about to talk about then. <laughs> Cheap <laughs> and expensive. So what do y'all prefer in life? Do y'all prefer the finer things? Or do y'all prefer like to just do certain things that may be not as expensive as others but may satisfy you? Like what do you hmm. choose? Hold on, you gotta you gotta be specific when you say quality. shit like that. Do you choose satisfaction? Yeah, I prefer quality. Or do quality. you choose Just brand? Quality. Like are you choosing brand names over satisfaction? No. Nah. No. Nah. nah, not not generally. Talk about it. Like, He's asking basically are you materialistic? Yes. Who, who's though. not though? <laughs> not at all. I'm well, not it materialistic. Like, who? It depends on the level of, of being materialistic. Because like for instance, if you, I don't, I've never been like a big uh, subscribe to brand kind of person, which is ironic because I made it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. for the most part, if it's not my own shit, I'm wearing stuff that's like from Marshalls or something. Like I don't even really care about the, oh, let me make sure it's a Nike something or this, this, and that. Burlington Coat yeah, Factory. Yeah, I'm going to get this shit though. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I I was about to say like, who's not you know what I'm saying materialistic by, you know by choice. Like I think if everybody had the option to buy the, the higher quality item, they will buy it. I don't. I don't. You know think what I'm so. saying? No. But then I, was like, I had to not check everybody. myself because I was like, yo, rich white people be wearing bullshit. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And, and higher quality opposed to brand. Like, yeah. I mean, yes. like the quality mm. makes a difference. They don't have to have a brand attached to it if there's quality in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I what tell is you quality something. though? <laughs> what but is quality though? Quality is whatever you look at, whatever satisfies you, right? So you like, I I, I drink, right? Okay, obviously. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what type of there are times, but dig this though. Obviously. But dig me though, right? It's times where I might go to the liquor store. Let me get that fifth and in. Or my favorite drink, I might drink Conjure. You feel me? But then I have nights when I'm like, I'm about to get some Amsterdam. And I'm, <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? But don't stop me. Let me finish. Now, it depends on whatever I feel that night. Whatever I want to get into or whatever, you know, I'm just feeling. I have nights where I want to drink vodka and Amsterdam and take me to the place where okay. I need to go. All right, now look, we brothers, right? Mm-hmm. Let's keep it a hundred. Let's keep it a buck. Matter of fact, fuck it. Let's keep it a buck fifty. Keep it one trillion. All right, check <laughs> it out. So on the nights when you finna grab Amsterdam, mm-hmm. is your money a little funny? No. I so grabbed a gallon like, the other day. My money is I, never I, funny. I like, <laughs> well, let me hold two Somebody's not being honest. <laughs> wait, That's wait, real. Wait, wait, wait. That's real. Like, for real. Right. So I feel like, so I, I 
Irish Spring to get the same. I mean, Irish Rose to get the same job done. Amsterdam, right? Same thing. To be honest, you can go with Gucci. Right. I've never had ice cream. I mean, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm all y'all, all y'all drink bottom shelf liquor. You know why? Cause you go to the bars and they give you bottom shelf liquor when you order your drink. It depends on what bar you going to. Well, since it's money, you go to money, refuge, dog. That's, that's bottom drinks. shelf drink. You yeah. Hey, I'm not gonna <laughs> sit up here and let you talk about refuse, bro. You but it's, it is like a lot of bars do that, and it ain't that ain't that ain't nothing against refuge. A lot of bars do that. That's Clean like the thing to do. They gonna give you bottom shelf, and if you ask nah, for top it's shelf, a, it you gonna bar, it, it depend on what bar you going. Ask for ask for a Long Island iced tea. <laughs> ask just ask for one. They gonna give you bottom shelf liquor, and if you want top shelf, they gonna make you pay more. I'm telling you. Say I want kettle kettle one instead of your bottom shelf. You know what I'm saying? Liquor. I'm and they going to make you pay way more. I'm telling you. I'm just saying this, right? I think I think that when you're drinking cheap liquor, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm not going to say 100% of the reason mm. is because, you know, it might be money might be funny. I'm just saying it might be at the least 40% of the reason why you like, yo, <laughs> Afford the hen dog right now. That you ain't true for everybody. Look. I'll tell you and this I've right now. I've been there, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I'm that ain't true for everybody. Quick. All right, but my thing is what? <laughs> real quick, I'm gonna just say I'm bougie and I know it. But there's a difference between being bougie and knowing your priorities. Straight up. What they gotta do is drink it. <laughs> y'all talking about y'all talking about drinking. He was asking a question that said what. Are you guys materialistic? To the you know foundation. what I'm saying? You're so taking like, it back to the foundation. Yeah, y'all talking about fine liquor. You know what I'm saying? But, but it applies to everything. It does. Else. And y'all was just talking about y'all preference. And y'all just sound bougie. And it's cool to be bougie. Do I we think sound bougie? I feel like... You sound bougie. I feel <laughs> like... I feel like... I <laughs> my thing is like my days of over drinking and shit, mm -hmm. like for no reason, it's over. Like I got... I got like... Probably like five or six bottles of alcohol in my house that I haven't touched in months. That's a lot for some people, though. And like when you come over my house, I'll be like, "Yo, you want something to drink?" And like I'll pull you a cup, and that's it. Like we're not gonna sit there and kill that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like I remember a, a time in my life where like I used to like we got a bottle that shit's gone by the end of that night. Right. But now like I'm. Like I, I can have liquor, but for is days that, at a does time. age? This nigga maturity? can't do that. But, but One, <laughs> these are alcoholics. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true Why at all. Why are you all like that? Because <laughs> he's my brother. I can talk shit. Yeah, but that ain't true. That ain't true. That has to do with being materialistic. Ooh. You see, but the question was materialistic. You know what I'm saying? That's why. I, that's why I say we live in a society where people are afraid to be bougie. They're afraid to be themselves. They're afraid to like be. Be. They're so general. busy trying to impress people. They're so busy trying to. Oh, I need to act this when I'm around this. I need to do it's. It's. I think when we get back to a point where balance is the key, which is balance, which you've been, been preaching. You know what I'm saying? I feel like shit. It just comes down to I don't want to settle. For my lifestyle, I'm already comfortable in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a dapper motherfucker. Like my homie right there. You know what I'm saying? Keep it dapper. But like, <laughs> doesn't mean I want to wear Gucci all the time, but doesn't mean I want to wear clothes with yellow stains on it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a matter of being materialistic. It's about knowing what you like and living how you like. Yeah. And it's Your also preference. about having something that's that has longevity too. Because you don't want something that's that turns colors like for instance jewelry you don't mm -hmm. want your your finger turning green over some cheap ass jewelry like have something that's i mean that's definitely a difference in buying a shirt from running going down yeah. a shirt from macy's mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like we right now yeah, like longevity is different twice, one you can keep for two three years so yeah. like right now we're in like a branding boutique you know what i'm saying yeah. we, in your, we in your spot you and trail you in y'all spot and you all can we give a clap quit. to black business? Yeah. 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 So for black what businesses, like you all create quality 
material. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Quality yeah. Art- articles of clothing. So, like, what the fuck is the difference? Tell me, like, what is the real difference? Like, what separates bullshit from, like, quality clothes? I mean, it's just, it, it, it's a number of things. And thread count. Hmm. Like, uh, it's a thread count, like, to, to thickness. Like, yep. a difference I was talking the other day to a sister who came in to consult mm-hmm. about why the cotton t-shirt felt a certain way and the other one didn't. And it also mm-hmm. said 100% cotton. It was something as simply as ring spun. Mm-hmm. And then in this business, that's something you know, with it mm-hmm. being ring spun, being able to go through a couple of times, it thins out the fabric and makes it lighter. Still 100% cotton. But mm-hmm. that's an extra process, which adds on the extra part of money, which one may say, now you're being bougie about what you're getting, but mm-hmm. it's an extra step in the process. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you, what is a quality brand, since you work with a lot of brands? That's a vast-ass question. That dog. is. Narrow that right, down. So narrow they down. Not, they right. not giving us a sponsorship. Narrow, like narrow, narrow, narrow it them. down to this, right? So, designer clothing, right? Like Gucci, Versace, shit like that. What makes off white became a designer what? instantly, and their clothes is well, trash. Some of it is popularity. Ooh. No, but like, what makes their shit poverty. so quality? I mean, you said three quality, though. Yeah. Quality. She wears well, off brand. Not, you felt that well, one, right? Yeah, there's it's, it's, there's a difference going on right now uh-huh. where uh, I think things like um, I'm not gonna say that the things like quality don't matter as much, but I was actually laughing and joking with one of y'all about the whole uh, fire fest. Uh, mm-hmm. Documentary. Thing. I saw that. That whole the whole fire. I gotta thing, watch that for real. Yeah, for real. the the whole the whole situation was basically trash. But they got it to pop. Th- think about what they 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 were able to do something where they sold ninety to a hundred percent of tickets to mm-hmm. an event before, like if you take away what the whole event was before even securing a venue space. Mm-hmm. That's that's mm-hmm. essentially what that situation wow. was. You that's sold an entire. It wasn't even a. They just didn't. You sold an entire thing without even solidifying a venue. And they did it off of the popularity mm. off of other people. They gathered influencers and had them say, this is going to be the next thing popping, this basically. Is business. And that's, well, Period. but it is, but you could pull something from it from the standpoint of Our people didn't, people didn't hey, look. Even test the quality of what you were doing. You haven't no, even been to the event what, yet. What did Ja Rule have to do with that? Uh, he, I think he was just, he was just involved as one of the partners for it. But, uh... I mean, in terms of the failure of it, it's just poor judgment. Nobody on that whole yeah. staff knew yeah. anything My about the What Terrible. did you learn from fight? Like, I haven't seen it yet, and yeah. I really wish I, 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 I Like, I'm probably going to watch it tonight, to you be should. honest. It's funny. But, funny. like, <laughs> how easy is it to create a brand? Because how many concerts started like that? Like, yeah. Duce Palooza, Lollapalooza, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Coachella, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Hey, we're bringing artists to this event. They're dope. Come see it. You know what I'm saying? See, like they, they, they did it slightly. What they did that was unique. it was scammers. Well, yeah, but the thing from from the marketing standpoint, what they did was they really understood the power of media influencers, and that's mm-hmm. I'm, I'm bringing that back to yeah. the whole point yeah. of like the yeah. quality. Yeah isn't even a thing that necessarily it's sells because right now. you already trust those people you're seeing on the screen, right? I don't, You've seen I don't them even think before. it's a trust. I think people just admire or want this, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's but that's what that's what quali- that's a part yeah, of that's quality, that's quality though. That's, that's how you sell mm-hmm. quality, but, but yeah. not for the actual it's not quality, it's popularity. It's right. one to be connected to that popularity but, but to, to but to, but to, but to have to and obtain uh some sort of quality. I mean, to obtain some sort of popularity there has to be some sort of quality attached to it. No, there was you can't well, get you can't get popular if some if someone doesn't see quality in, in, in something you do. They they posted. You see what I'm trying to say? They, they, they did post. They they did post so, one quality, one quality video. I guess you could say. But the first thing that they posted before you even saw the video was a blank orange. Um, it was just a blank orange. Like print, basically, it was just it, it was just a blank orange thing, and they were basically saying that that was to grab the the attention of people. But they had all their influencers 
post it all at the same time. So from right. a marketing I standpoint, think, the shit was brilliant. Low but key, they, but. And, and that's they, the power of the yeah. internet, though, yeah. where you yeah. got yeah. stuff like, who bought some off Witch.com, and the shit looked like this on a picture, <laughs> and when you get it, you like, what the? Focus this here. Blue as fuck. You know? I'd be <laughs> mad as hell when that happens. I know you guys seen the Soldier Boy interview, right? <laughs> So look, he was saying, oh, he shit. was saying, hey, he first of all, look, look, the Boy's a legend, put some respect on his name. He's, a go. he's a go, he's a go in business. Oh my God. But he was saying, he was bringing out this, uh, Soldier Boy, like, fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> that nigga, he got a game nah, system, I love right? him. He got I a game lie. system out. He said, why is people buying from uh, PS4 or Nintendo or whatever, but they not buying my, you know, my game system mm -hmm. or, you know, Take it back to the iPhone. The iPhone, oh, people say good quality. It takes $22 to make the iPhone. Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. it's all about what? Popularity. This false sense of something behind this internet shit. You know? yeah, yeah, you no. internet don't people, hype. don't people assert. Like, would you buy that Soldier that? Boy game? Wait, hold I on. Would. Don't people assert. <laughs> they assert <laughs> that <laughs> shit <laughs> with like shit that they, <laughs> shit that they done seen before. <laughs> shit they familiar with. That's like the key to a lot of this shit. From what y'all was saying, it's say like, that one more time. They assert quality with shit that they familiar with. Well, that's you know what, what I'm like, saying. We gotta understand, like we're yeah. art. It's a we're artists. We have to understand, like yo. Sometimes your word is the quality. Sometimes, like sometimes the shit that you know what I'm saying, the work that you put in in the past is the quality. Mm -hmm. And when you put something out that's new, people are moving off of what they seen you do in the past. How hard is it think, compared to? That That's why every I internet agree. person that's sitting in their house behind a sound pile can go up like that. No shows, no nothing. Oh. And what's wrong with that? Well, what have they done in their past? Well, like, you know what? A lot of them motherfuckers, what? they familiar, though. And they saying shit that other motherfuckers don't already say or doing shit like other motherfuckers do. A motherfucker literally can go viral. If you sit in your... <laughs> You sit in your fucking house and you got your ass a mobile studio or whatever the fuck project studio and you listen to all the tracks that's on a billboard and you mimic them motherfuckers, you can go real viral real fucking quick. I, I don't mean, think so. I guarantee you can. Especially if you follow song structure and beat pattern and all that shit to the T, I guarantee your ass go viral very quick. Oh, too saturated for that. I'll tell you right now, you know what I'm saying, in my experience, you know what I'm saying, People not gonna make it just making music, you know what I'm saying? Because they do it, it, and they might just go, they might go viral. But how, if you're not doing the performances, if you're not doing hey, the training, Reggie, you know what I'm can saying? You gonna open the door for uh, my homegirl, BK? Or right, if somebody, oh, no, hold on, if somebody, if she buzz the buzzer and somebody buzz her in, my baby girl doesn't have to walk all the way downstairs and open the door. Why she can't walk down? Every I'm just saying, if, if somebody can buzz her in. Can y'all buzz her in? Is it possible? Yeah. <laughs> is it possible? Damn, like, nigga, you, nigga, you okay? No, I'm just saying, like, this is her second time here in Lacuna. How would she get lost? Then we have to go find her. He being a Karen, uh, you know, boyfriend hey, and shit. Hey, hey, shout out. Shout out to the kings that's taking care of their queen. <laughs> Oh, 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 life, oh, life. I was like, this nigga that had too much wine up the top no, of the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y so here, you were, you were somebody just touching on, on, on a point that was kind of interesting about like how people, um, you, somebody mentioned that, that you won't just blow up off of one thing going viral. Mm -hmm. Who was what that was that your that's point Will. that you were finishing? That's that's uh Will. Uh, my right. thing is people people can go viral and shit off of shit that you know, thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Off of shit that motherfuckers is familiar with. You feel me? It's nothing to mimic what's out there. Mm -hmm. Most of the people that make it viral and are big as fuck are doing shit and saying shit that people done said before. Let me ask y'all a question. To be honest with you. What what, what is ain't the, nothing what is entirely the, new. Everything is, is, is a repeat of what the fuck okay. already happened. That's fine, but what is the benefit in going viral? Getting motherfuckers to see your shit. Like, okay, the how many, many, how many, name. how many, <laughs> <laughs> he I just mean, blew me. Okay, on, that's yeah. great, but it's how many people have gone viral and monetized it? Exactly, it's only benefit. Does going viral even promise you the ability to monetize your motherfucking it does. art? It, does. it don't promise it you, but it gives you a better, better chance. You better chance and and what do most people even go viral for? No, listen, listen. Dumb it shit. Does. All right. <laughs> So what the fuck is we even sitting up here talking about? We've been doing this shit too long to be chasing viral. 
I believe that most people. What are y'all talking about? I agree. Who said? Comment from the audience. I believe that most people go viral looking for the opportunity to monetize their work. Exactly. Most motherfuckers go viral on accident because they got caught in the streets doing some dumb shit. You mad? I'm not mad. You mad? I'm mad. But I'm saying, like, what the fuck is we sitting up here as, like, career artists? Right. I'm dead. You do dumb shit all day. And film that. If I do do some dumb shit, I hope it don't get caught on camera, and I hope it don't go viral. Let me give me that. Yo, yo, if you do some dumb shit and it goes viral, can you not capitalize off of it? It depends on how dumb it is. If it's some, if a mo- if you get caught doing some shit that's like, oh shit, some you dude went viral off. Of, some dude went viral off Yo. having a big neck. <laughs> <laughs> like what's up? Hey, hey, hey sad no, sad no, sad no, sad no. This cheap ass wham, boy, your ass just bought another but cup. The <laughs> fuck is you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that shit good, ain't it? Hey, this shit, I'm like good about some more. I know. You talking about? Right. Uh huh. Point proven. Point proven. Fucking talking about. Why you trouble, man? I know struggle. That's sangria. That's not. Yo, so, yeah, yeah, sangria. sangria. We gonna need a sponsor. For real shit. We drink hey. sangria out here. Well, who oh, the fuck? God. No, hey. the oh, question okay. is because for me. you, you were mentioning how is it that that people uh, or or what can you do with, with uh, going viral? If you know how to utilize it, which right. is what a lot of these big companies, they are a lot more deliberate than what I think people even realize that yeah, they are. Yeah. The the Gillette commercial thing that just aired, that was a very deliberate viral piece of content. The thing with uh, Colin Kaepernick and, you know what I'm saying, showing his face for Nike, blah, blah, blah. That's very deliberate stuff. It's a book called um, Contagious that actually talks about, um, it actually talks heavily about why material and content is shared amongst people and basically how you can utilize stuff like that. And it should mm-hmm. is, it, it's basically all human uh, <laughs> psychology so the thing is yeah some people go viral off accident and the ones that do and and that don't know kind of that next step or how to monetize it it just fizzles away and you never hear from it again but you got a lot of people that have gone viral off of one thing and have spun it and okay, turned it into so, careers all right mm-hmm. you know what I'm all right great but is 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 it is did it truly go viral if it had a corporation behind it Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, it was just deliberate. It doesn't matter. I don't matter. know. Yeah, it's I not... don't know if I believe it. Oh yeah, because we live in the day and age where there's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Right. And now like, can't say that smoke and mirrors do something though. When you That's say did that, it go that, viral? Do you mean did it go viral naturally? Like naturally, or did yeah. They right. 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 You gotta right. narrow right. that because the fact. That yeah. fat is it's always going to exist. If that shit go viral, it yeah. go viral. Yeah. That shit going to always exist. Yeah. It don't matter no, who the hell is. You can yeah. say it's the difference. It didn't go viral. It's, it's, it's paid. It was, it was paid for. Right. It, it was paid right. for, but it's still it's viral. Well, it's a difference time. between somebody claiming that they're independent, inside. you know what I'm saying, if they're not it's independent poor. and they got motherfuckers behind them, Making them go viral and shit yeah. and doing all that shit. It's a difference between motherfuckers that claim independent, but it's motherfuckers who got industry behind them, yeah. and it's like I got industry behind me, and they still going fucking viral. That shit's still fucking viral at the end of the day. And then, well, but one, one other thing, it's not, it also, correctly. It's not just what it's you, still you know what I'm viral. viral though, 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 it's some different organically. Okay, right. if you split it up yeah, and you be you know yeah. you be specific yeah. like that, then yeah. yeah. But but the uh, the other part to it though, the companies sometimes, the bigger companies, they they'll still form the content in a certain way where they might give it a kickstart. Like they might, and I, well, actually, kickstart is a good example. They they might give you a quick boost mm-hmm. of like, okay, a bunch of people will see it first, but people still share the content and they share it right. based off of what the content is. So for instance. Yeah. Um, an example of someone going viral, viral mm-hmm. bad baby, catch me outside, right? Yeah. Everyone thought that was a joke. Mm-hmm. And now she's selling records. She's making Absolutely. money. She mm-hmm. actually made something. She Dr. made a brand Phillips out of her not behind her but, either. But, but the question is, why yeah. Why did people share her content? It but here's shock, my thing. It was shock okay. value. With, with her, it's shock value. It's okay. a little white girl talking like this, mm-hmm. talking, you know, kind of urban. And honestly, ah, I like how you phrased it. And then she got the field talking like this, so she already got that audience. So it's like, yeah, you know, yeah. so okay. even if so, for, so imagine something else like the uh, the, the up, uh, Colin Kaepernick thing. They put money behind that piece of that first piece of content, which would show him with like the Nike brand to do it. But people share that shit. 
right. after, but it's because it's like tied but more to the But that goes back to the, the book you was talking about, the Tasia uh-huh. God, I got it, it's real, real, real. Yeah. But that goes back to the psychology of knowing people. Absolutely. You knowing anything Absolutely. with shock value, like, oh, this guy just know in the NFL, he really did this to the NFL. Absolutely it's, right. Of course they're going to put money behind that. Ooh, can I, I'm not sure say it, wait, stock, after you do it. Stock and all that. I really, I, I really believe, I really believe, I really believe, I really believe in the human. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I think of my day to day. I don't give a fuck about these big companies. You know what I'm saying? Real shit is that if you put, if you put money behind your video, for example, if you put a machine behind your video, example, and that that video goes ten thousand, ten ten thousand views. You know what I'm saying? Compare that to you not putting no money behind your videos. Yeah. And you generally like just generating your 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 views naturally. Let's say you do that, your fan base might watch it on their own time. If your real fans might watch it, still you might get a hundred, two hundred, some might even get three hundred, three thousand, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. The more views you have in this day and age, the more liable someone is to share your content. So someone depends, like you who depends, don't depends on the content. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Cause John was saying like, is it really viral if you, if they have a machine behind them? So let me ask you a real life question. If you put money behind your music or your 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 brand, you know what I'm saying, to get it to as much new audience as possible, you know what I'm saying, and you do it for a good two three months, and that has ten thousand views, can you not share it and let? And not have to put money behind it anymore because it has ten thousand views. After that point, you mean? Yeah, because if you have ten, if you even have five thousand views, people are sharing it just because they see people watch it. That's, so, that's actually you know true. That's actually, okay. It's that's shock actually value of, and controversy. Sort of, that's what that's, that's, is being shared. Sort of, but that's actually part of the book Contagious that I was talking about. People, so they say if you put people on the island and tell them do what they want, mm-hmm. they'll do what somebody else is doing. Mm-hmm. People actually do what they see other people doing anyway. Facts. So Regardless. To, so, so some of that psychology is tied into, I've seen somebody do this thing before. That's It's kind of how a lot of brands spread, even if it is organic or paid. The reason why they did the thing, again, with Firefest to, to put influencers to well, do it is because you see the but, people but that you look at. Here's my thing. This mm-hmm. is the thing. This is what I'm saying. When a brand pays for something to go viral, mm-hmm. there's a goal at the end, which is usually monetization. Sure. When a nigga is just like in McDonald's and he gets into it with the uh, with the clerk, and she hauls off and punches him in the nose, and he goes viral because of that. It's like, yo, nigga, you just you just you going viral because people like seeing crazy things happen. And what? you know, there's no way for you to capitalize off of that. You Look know at, what I'm saying? Dig this though. Okay, so let me say it, wait, because we've been talking about the same shit for too long. <laughs> dig this. It's a, it's a lot of shit going on out here now in the world. So but dig mean, this though. So I don't know. Age, hey, dig this though. So the age of trolling, right? What's up? <laughs> So what y'all think about that? Like the age, we in the age of trolling to the point where it's like bullshit is literally what gets you attention, you know, nowadays and what makes people pay attention to what the is, shit you're doing. What is trolling? Like, like what the fuck is what, up with what that? Trolling? When trolling people say something outrageous recently. just to get attention from other people. Or do something outrageous. An example, Jacquees saying he was the king of R&B. We know damn well the man ain't king of R&B. <laughs> <laughs> But it got people talking for weeks straight. So he that's the definition of trolling. Or shit. The R. Kelly yeah. documentary. Like like oh, <laughs> that was trolling. <laughs> that was trolling. I think he did that shit. I think he had. I think a lot of people do that. I mean, that's smart. It's not, I don't think it's trolling. I think it's smart. Because it's going to take people, make yeah. people go search him and listen to his music. Why is he calling himself King R&B? People didn't know who he was. A lot of people didn't know who he was. All right, can we get back to? Can we get back? I'm gonna get back to quality because first and foremost, the last album that we love of Jacquees is the album that he did with Days Low. So we're not gonna call him the king of shit. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Straight up. But this generation, though, this generation. No, no. Chris Brown. Chris Brown is still alive. Chris Brown is still alive, and they're still trying to throw dirt on him. That's how you know a nigga is the shit. When they throw, when you got haters as much as you got love. That's when you know you got the shit. If you ain't got no scandals, but I mean, when I'm when I'm in the shower, I say I'm better than both of them. I agree with you. 
Let me troll real quick. I agree with you, but tell me one song you know of Jacquees. Tell me one song you know of Jacquees. I mean, I looked it up the other day, but I can't say it. it. All right, so that goes back to what John was... That was going back to what John was saying about, you know what I'm saying? Machine, I hear I hear John wholeheartedly, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is like... What I feel like I'm getting from John is the quality of your work is what should go viral and what will last. Cause should anybody agree. could go last, and anybody could go viral. I, I'm thinking well, of the guy Bink, the guy who used to jump on tables. You know what I'm saying? Who used to, you know, steal people's shit, steal things from Dunkin' Donuts. You don't see him anymore. You bunk, know what I'm you talking about bunk yeah. gang, bunk whatever, bunk gang, whatever. Bunk gang, gang but yeah. yeah. But you do see well, quality say, work. You do see consistent lot, work. Who can't capitalize off that? He was getting appearances to come to the club. They probably was paying him for me to guess. I don't know. Maybe Until his tick dies. As soon as his tick dies, it's over. But why Not if you though? cashed in and reinvested. This, yeah. this is what yeah, this is yeah. where, right. And up that's your level. Fuck you talking about. That's what you got to evolve. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What you going to say, Tim? I got a good question for the squad cast because I heard him say, speak about quality and work. Do you think that quality speaks towards longevity yes yeah and that's how you determine of quality. course yes of course i think it I think but it, this is you know what's a simple formula for that so dig this like <laughs> <laughs> no it ain't meant to be funny it's like real shit though like be in a club and listen to a motherfucker like listen to go to a performance right motherfuckers rapping this shit like that you feel me right you got that one motherfucker on stage get on stage say some Dumb ass shit, like, but get everybody turned. I'm about to kill everybody in this bitch. Hey, <laughs> and motherfuckers be turned. If the beat right, motherfuckers gonna be turned. You feel me? But later on, but dig this though. Later on, you gonna think or listen to the video or listen to the track on whatever, and you gonna be like, this some dumb ass shit. <laughs> you feel me? But then you listen to a motherfucker that's spitting them bars. Woo, wop, wop, wop. Save everybody. Save the world. Uh. I'm still Black peace. You feel me? Like later on, no, I'm, you gonna I'm listen, listen to that shit. Hold on, hold on. But my I, thing is this. Here's on my thing. Let man. me finish my point no, though. No, let no. me finish. Oh, later man. on, you gonna listen to that <laughs> shit, and you gonna be like, "Damn, that shit was dope." I like the lyrics. Of, woo, woo, this shit hot. I'm gonna keep listening to that shit as opposed to that weak RLC, shit that you was turned up in the club. So you feel me? That's the longevity. Hold on, hold on. It's playback value. Hold on, Playback value is longevity. Right. Playback value. I want to answer his question from a, a PR standpoint. So he said, does quality equal to longevity, right? Mm. It, it actually does because public relations is something that you earn. So like Ooh. he was saying that, you know, basically somebody get on public the relationship, and something. Public relations is something that you earn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to make sure I get everything. Hold on now, bro, because you just hold you just wholeheartedly like stop niggas from giving people a girl. I'm not going to open the door. I'm not going to open the door. I apologize. Now you, I'm, you know, he was, please finish, please finish. Uh, that's why, they, that's why I want you to bring that John, cheap ass wine. That was a good. If you drunk <laughs> off a cup or two cups of this shit, you, know but still, you like, ain't no, your ass no, ain't drunk. She said some <laughs> powerful wrong shit, with. and I want to make sure that the audience, the people who listen to my, to the squad cast, you know what I'm saying, are here. She said PR is something that has to be earned. But let her finish How her point, it, bro. You can't, you can't <laughs> motherfucking give your rebuttal. Hey, did this. Hey, did this. Did this. Y'all wasting time. Y'all that waste some time. Go ahead, boy. Go ahead, boy. Go ahead, go ahead. This is good. This is great. TV. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I want you to know this that I didn't mean to interrupt you. This is mad TV because John mad as hell right hey, now. Hey, look, look, look. Hey, I didn't say ho. Hey, this some real shit. Bet your ass never see this shit on TV. Fuck you, shut up. On the gas. Motherfucker just worked it out. Now she about to talk. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, please let her talk. The the quality no, of your product and the quality of your brand. I'm hot. I'm hot. Hold on, Z. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Your visual communication, your crowd, your traffic, like how you actually connect to your people that's earned. That's not something that, you know, you got a lot of people buying it. Exactly. So that's the quality of your brand. 
So if the way that you cash in on this, because that quality is equity, that's your intellectual property. It has no value until you actually put something behind it. Mm -hmm. So that's the quality of longevity. If you can create a product and you know that maybe you might see it two, three, five years from now because it's something that's timeless. You can continue mm. to put, that's you know, sponsorship behind it or investments behind it because it, it creates a flow. So therefore, it's going to take time to travel. That means that it has to travel through the local market. It has to travel through the national market. It has to travel through the international market. So it depends on not only the qualitative value but the quantitative value of it mm. you know that it, it has to relate to people and that's why public relations is something that's earned and when you actually do you know invest in your product that way you can get longevity out of it because it's now an asset instead of it just being something that you produce and create it's an asset Mm. You got a business card? Right. Yeah. 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 No, hey. Uh, no, I'm like I'm about, so hey, go like, tell the people where they can find you. Hey, y'all need her. I'm to her. So, like, as ratchet, <laughs> as ratchet as this whole situation is right now, I want all y'all to know that, like, everybody, like, sitting in this motherfucker has something to offer. Definitely. So, like, hell yeah, nigga. That's, that's my doing, nigga. I made sure it's you. Oh, <laughs> my God, man. <laughs> man. That you built that up. Why did you get John? But you ain't paid for the Uber again, though. Fuck you talking about. I love this nigga, John. Hey, look. Y'all <laughs> bald <laughs> nigga. All right. Oh, God. God. One, uh, one other, hey. One other, one other small thing about that, too, with the um the the quality, because I thought about it when you were, when you were mentioning it. I think... um. Quality doesn't even necessarily have to be to like a super high level all the time, as long as it's consistent. Because I thought about this with like, um, Good point. so like for instance, Kendrick probably makes some people. I don't, I don't really care how y'all feel about it. In my personal opinion, Kendrick makes better quality music than Drake, right? But Drake makes like the consistent like McDonald's of music. Where yeah. you know exactly what you're gonna get with Drake. Damn, I ain't never time. heard it like that. No, it's real. I ain't never heard it like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what makes sense. No, but too, but for right? real, yeah. you know, you know exactly what you're gonna get with Drake every single time. Yeah. Whether he might, you might every once in a while get a little spice here and there, whatever. You know, they throw a little extra pickle on the. You know, what I'm saying the double. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Roll with extra pickle but, now. But, but for the most part, it's he not. He gave you so two he, pieces of cheese. Sometimes. Straight. Yeah. You know, he's like. Oh, <laughs> You just blew me. I got two pieces of cheese. Sesame seeds on the mud. I went to death with that because even though like a person could be consistent, they put out a lot of a whole lot of music. Most of that music garbage. I think it's some about being like. I just said it so casually though. I think it's some about being like um unreachable. I think it's some like with Beyonce and Jay Z. There are the they are the most sought out because we don't know their business. But everybody is searching like what's going on with them, what's going on. There's such a mystery. Even with the top shelf liquor, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody's on it, but shit, y'all. I don't know. So I don't know. the gas. I don't know shit. What do you what say? The fuck what do you say to a guy <laughs> like know, Gary V, who's always in your face, Who? real life, real he's, authentic, he's, Gary like V. A, um, you know what I'm saying? Like who's giving you content every day? Who's in your face every day? I I hear what you guys are saying. You know what I'm saying? But. I don't think you guys understand the value of what this young lady just said. We do. You know what I'm saying? We did, but you cut off. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to go on in the conversation. Right. You still on the same shit. Well, I want to add, and, that, and it go back to what he was saying. Yeah. And it kind of it coincided with what she was saying with the quality. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, when I hear Drake, though, Drake does have timeless music. His old music was timeless. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. He right now. But he Listen, got it he though. That's the point. Yeah. That's the you know, point he that's has. The same it. Likes as Tupac. That's the point. You know, Tupac got tracks. You can play the We're not about to, the, the, we not about to put him up against saying, Tupac. So what do you do? Is, Hello, okay, so look. Quality. What it's do you do with timeless music when the artist does some fucked up shit that you can't overlook? Oh, like R. Kelly. Oh. Woo! Bring it back. Like R. Kelly, though. All right, let me ask what you a counter question. What do you do? Let me ask you a counter question. You let me ask you a counter question. And we used to dance to that shit in the basement, though. On the gas, we used to. Everybody. Your ass used to. This is real as fuck. All right, we got to go down, because I see that's going to be the problem. I'm going to need I need people to get the fuck out of here with nitpicking on what they choose to support and what they don't. You know Thank what I'm saying? saying y'all say y'all fuck. Y'all say R. Kelly, fuck out of here. What the fuck y'all doing with Kanye West? <laughs> <laughs> Kanye oh, West man. just say stupid shit. He ain't out here. I'm sorry. Y'all just gonna wait. Everybody, everybody, 
Okay. All right. Look, 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 I swear to God, Nas. Look, Nas said it. All right, cool. I'm on your word. You lose respect. This wine getting everybody loose. That's that wine. That's that wine on your mind, bro. Hey, look, check it out. Check it out. I don't. I don't feel like it's the wine at all. Relax, relax, relax. So, so the question. This is a passionate conversation. The question. The question. What do you do when they do fucked up? Do you keep the music and throw them away? Oh, or do you throw them away and, and throw the music away so with them? What do you do, Sylvia? Wait, we got the audience. Huh? You separate the person from the artist. Yeah. I, I mean, because cause here's the thing. The, here's the thing, right? So when Bill Cosby was going through what he was going through, we was like, yo, don't fucking take the Cosby show off exactly. of air. Yeah, send him to jail. Fuck him. Yeah, but, right. keep, but keep the Cosby show. But now it. R. Kelly, it's like, yo, fuck him. Man, fuck, man. fuck trapped in the closet. Yeah. Fuck, I wish. Like fuck, you ain't watch like, all the above. Like you wanted to crib for hours. If you can say, throw Bill Cosby away, away and keep the Cosby show, time. how can you say throw R. Kelly away and the music? Can I ask you guys another real I'm just oh asking. Can I ask you guys a real life people question? People are saying fuck our Kelly. It is a lot of people that saying fuck our Kelly. It is. It's a lot. Well, so it's like, what are we doing? Talking about R. Kelly ain't getting no more spin. And I don't give a fuck what happens to him, by the way. Can I ask you guys a real life question? Because I, 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 I love Everybody real life questions. And if this is Squadcast, I'm going to ask my real life questions, G. Now, my first question is, what else was Bill Cosby doing besides getting accused? You know what I'm saying? What was he doing that made him get sought out? Okay? If you guys that's can't, the real ass question. If y'all can't answer that question, if y'all can't answer that question, at least answer me this. You know what I'm saying? So that way we can get a real idea of hey, yo, how we really we, thinking. We do we hey, yo, really do Yo, this is a squad do cast. We you know really? the first fucking rule of the squad cast. You want to talk, you just got to, like, interrupt niggas yeah. and yell. It's like a cycle. <laughs> <psycho. laughs> and now you, hey, look, 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 look. Look, but there it is, but there it is. But there it is. Not, not necessarily. Right, she don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got drunk enough. You just walked in too late. And I'm high, so. <laughs> <laughs> she got she to gotta catch up. You ain't gonna we no not, points we might not, if you, so we might not want to yell, though. I just want to Because it might clip. We don't want to yell. Like we'll compress. We cross a lot of, like, cross a lot of communication, like, ethical boundaries. Like, what you said about the Bill Cosby thing. Like, I'm not about to give up something that helped me reach a good point in my life. Like, that's part of my childhood. Mm-hmm. Everybody knew about R. Kelly. Everybody knew about Bill Cosby. Mm-hmm. You have comedy and you have art that exposes the inside of the industry. So now it gets to a point where it becomes public and people are actually pe- speaking out and people are supporting it. I mean, R. Kelly doesn't own his shit anyway. I mean, it's sad, but it's true. Dang, you man. know, Bill Cosby doesn't own a lot of shit that he do. It's sad, but it's true. But I feel like, you So know, do we keep it and throw them away? I mean... Do anybody hear I won't rock? even say I won't even say throw them away because I feel like you know no sin is greater than the other when mm. you really look at all the sins that that's shit, really been created. Um. I feel like once they pay their debt to society, we should you know get them help and make sure that it never happens again. And fuck, as humanity, look at it from a standpoint of okay, when it was said 10, 12 years ago, motherfuckers started looking out for their daughters because. The parents have to take responsibility for that situation, too, as well as the young ladies, because they want children. Like, by the time you get nine, you come on your period, 12, you out here, you hide 13, 14 in high school. But you, you still, no, nah, hey, it. look, I was with you, so, to be but you still yeah, immature, no, though. No, you still immature, but and I'm And you still highly you know, impressionable. Think, think about it, though, John. We went to Olive Garden Middle College. Everybody that was already grown when they got there. Hey, but you know, that's so a good even if you immature and you see R. Kelly and R. Kelly got a bag and you an immature teen and you like, well, shit, that's R. Kelly and he got a bag. I'm going to go home to my mama. I'm going to tell my mama R. Kelly. Kelly want to talk to me, he going to put me up and woo, woo, parents going to play along with me. But a lot of them want to tell me. Everybody was in on it. Nobody said nothing for years. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so we need to hold help. everybody accountable. Like, that's the biggest thing that came out of that. I think that's what everybody is overlooking mm-hmm. is the fact that Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, anybody out there doing shit like that needs help. They need help. Our community is in need of so that's much mental healing health. and we're yeah. overlooking it. Everybody right? comes. Shit happens ever. Yes. Day. Every day. Yes. That shit slip under yes. the rug and be I'm like, oh, well. Exactly. exactly. Then when it becomes exactly public, exactly we want to attack it. Like. it, on, it ain't no generational thing. Hold on, I, child. Let's just talk about 
the vast majority of young black males that's out here that's getting molested. Mm-hmm. You know, that shit like, too, for real. Like, oh, yeah. woman, and, and Courtney, we do too. You know, come on, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's a lot of black men out here that have gotten molested. And yeah. that's when you get this over hyper masculine thing is. You mm-hmm. got this over predator, the homosexual, you know, community and stuff like that. But we don't talk about that. Hey, Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle had a joke. He was like, yo, if a nigga get raped, he just got to get up and walk that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, but that's <laughs> fucked up, though. <laughs> that's <laughs> so <laughs> fucked up. It's, it's fucked up, it's fucked right. up but it's true. If I got raped, I'm not telling nobody. Look, 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 I ain't saying shit. But then you got to deal with that. Like, that shit bogus as hell because it's like, you got to deal with shit like that. Wait, let me finish. You got to deal with shit like that. Like, how the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, me as a man, if I got raped or some shit like that or some shit like that happened to me, how the fuck I'm supposed to walk around with that with me every fucking day and I can't talk to nobody about that shit? And motherfuckers wonder why motherfuckers suicide rates is up and you know what I'm saying? All type of shit and motherfuckers can't deal with certain shit. Like, that shit bogus as hell. You feel me? Like, that shit bogus. Conversation can be on the table now yes. because yes. a lot of that stuff when you got victimizers, a lot of times they were the victim before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So in our community, we don't talk about that. We, we don't. say, "Oh, get over it." Like you just said, yeah. if a dude got raped, go walk it off. No, that shit that's bogus. That's that's that 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 you guys, I, I don't believe that. No, you know why? That's, that's why I'm we're saying that we need to look at it from an ethical standpoint on how we put it off so long, and now it's important to us. That's because when you think about 400 years of slavery and you think about Civil War and all that Mm -hmm. stuff before Mm -hmm. that, you're thinking about people that are generationally, genetically modified Mm. to experience these things and then they're generationally passed down to people. Like R. Kelly didn't do anything but imitate what his sister did to him. So like Sister said, that's a cry out for help. Now we can have those conversations because there's a lot of things that our men go through that we just haven't addressed. African Americans are overly sexualized at an early age. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I mean, Back. look at us, Back. though. Back. Look at our Back. booties, Back. look at our thighs, Back. look at our breasts, like, look, look at our men. Like, you're we. A baby at five, yeah. you are looking at a baby sexually. That's sad. Yeah. You know what's yeah. sad, guys? Then, yeah. I'm, I'm the, genuinely look at our sad children because. The way they shape. I'm, I'm genuinely sad because we tend to contradict. I, I don't know if it's because I work in media that I see propaganda and I see how people fall for propaganda. Mm-hmm. But, gee, y'all talking about helping all the... Terry Crews just cried for help publicly. Yes, he did. Terry Crews. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Got, he, he, like, he y'all ran him out of... Who supported Terry Crews? But you know what? But you know what? I think one, one, a, couple, a couple things real quick. Uh, to, one thing... Um, one thing for sure is I think we get too fixated on um, the symptoms instead of like root cause about mm-hmm. about stuff. So, for instance, like a lot of the th- a lot of things that we like to talk about or that we like to argue and debate about are the symptoms of what like basically ha- like what you were mentioning of something that's happened to this person and they pass it down, whatever else. We'll demonize the symptom of this person like manifesting as this person who's you know uh, hyper masculine or as this person who's out here doing this, this, and that instead of addressing the root cause and having empathy for the root cause because it's, it's so much easier to just attack the symptom. And I mm-hmm. think that that's part of the big conversation culturally that, that we have to have is how do you really dig down and address these root causes and then hear people out enough to understand where they're coming from. We're so quick, and this is part of that media issue too because it's, cause it's easy to share and to demonize and to do this and do that. We're so quick to just jump on the trigger to say, man, fuck so-and-so. Cancel this person, do this, do that, blah, blah, whatever mm-hmm. else. And still not addressing the root cause conversation but in you, the first you, place. You know what, not to cut I, you off, no, go ahead, yeah. back when that book you was talking about, mm-hmm. Contagious with the psychology, how they use yeah. psychology to kind of uh, do all these big marketing ploys, yeah. they do that to, dem- to demonize a group of people. Absolutely. They've been doing absolutely. that to demonize <coughs> us. Yeah, absolutely. For a long time. Not Agreed. even just us. But different, you know, cultures and different races like that. Yeah. So they kind of, because when you think about it, the way they market us in a in the media mm-hmm. is real demonizing. But it's, yeah. it's, it's to yeah. tell us something about us. Yeah. To program. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. That's what yeah. I feel yeah. like Absolutely. ultimately it all goes back to psychology. Yeah. Absolutely. I feel like ultimately it's still our personal responsibility for our own presentation and representation yeah. of value. Yes. 
I feel like when we start issue? taking yeah. responsibility for ourselves and we stop talking about it's a communication issue or anything because you don't see that with the Native Americans. You don't mm. see that with the Mexicans. You don't see that with uncolored people. Right. You yeah. know, mm. they it's make sure that they get together and they get on lawsuits. We don't even have a community to communicate these things. Speak so when shit. he said root, <coughs> dealing with the root, you have forums and discussions about these things that are taking place in a private setting. We don't know how to work in a private sector. Mm. We have not learned human rights we have not learned civil rights we don't understand business law and we mm-hmm. are yeah, people that are not we're, we're unorganized when it yeah. comes to socioeconomics Absolutely. and that's our power mm-hmm. so True. until we decide to take personal responsibility we have to stop looking at things that's external of us and saying that okay that's the issue because mm-hmm. that's not the issue yeah we're and, the and you know what well, well, can i add in one 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 real key just quote too because will smith actually said it not too long ago um, and this is some shit that I had to learn as a very hard lesson in business. Stuff may not be your fault, but it can still be your responsibility. Mm-hmm. And that's, yes. and that's you learn that working in general. No, for real, because like we're, we're stuck in that sometimes where it's like things shouldn't be blah, blah, blah kind of way. Yeah. It, it may not be our you fault that shit it, has gotten, you know what I'm saying, to the, to the point that it is, but it <laughs> Thank is our responsibility. If you yeah. want it to be fixed, it is our responsibility yeah. mm-hmm. to, to just step up. You know what I'm saying? So. But you know what? I want to say, like, as far <clears throat> as with us, with our community, we do have, we are, like, one of the only nations of people that have a lot of stuff going against us. Mm-hmm. So say mm-hmm. if, if we, all of us, all of us here, I don't know about you guys, we are artists, right? So we create content and music that's owned by this machine with a culture that's not us. Mm-hmm. So basically, mm-hmm. even in our community, that's we don't. Right. What culture of, is not us? <coughs> what culture are you talking about? The entertainment yep. business. We creators, but we don't. Who, who's making the most money? The Jews. You right? know well, why it's I'll, not us? Did because we, we, we give sold, away did we our, sell our culture. Just, exactly. I was going to say, we sell our culture. <laughs> so when Brother was talking about quality, if you have intellectual property, that's just like I just wrote some ideas on this paper. Mm-hmm. And. I don't never copyright it, but an uh, uncolored person yep. pick up the notes yep. and he say, damn, this is a good story. Mm. He give it to one of his reporters at CNN. They copyright the story. They're making a billion dollars off of it. They done got sponsors and advertising. Who fault was that? Was it my fault or was it his fault mm. that many, he seen the people idea? in our culture are, are going to these schools that's ran by somebody else? It's not even We're about not. schools, though. That's what we well, fail to realize. It's all. about being it's a human. All. You have It, it yeah. starts with yourself. Yeah. Your first home is your temple. That's your body. Sad so note. if you Hold don't on. start within your mental self and your spiritual self of aligning yourself with who you are first and foremost, then while you're on your expedition in the world, you're not going to be able to pick up on the things that's around you. So, like, once again, like I said, like, it's our responsibilities as humans. We don't have to go to educational. It's, I know people that ain't never been to school, you know what I'm saying, that are way more advanced than people that have been to school and can actually demonstrate with people better. You know, that's culture, the difference. How do we expand that to everybody? How do we expand you might have it? Some, somebody that's like, yeah, I grew up in this background, but what about all the kids in the Austin community in Garfield that mm. never been off their block? They don't know that. Mm. So when that's I, when our I responsibility. Some people, and I say, you know, you're, you're a queen. How do you instill that into a young woman have that's to leave in the household? Example. We have, to no. go, we have to Sad leave no. that example, and we have to go out into our communities and change our representation. Our Sad represent- no. Re- presentational and presentational value. If we start right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight people here. Mm-hmm. Eight of us know ten people. Eight right. of us belong to a community or are associated with a community or are affiliated with people. Yeah. So if we just change the way we think from moving forward, now we understand on an accounting perspective what quality is. So now all of us probably got ideas or we probably got assets that's sitting around. Mm-hmm. Like we may have a family member that have a business, but they may not have the brand to support it. They may need a brand ambassador. You might bring in somebody like John who has a, a, a target audience. Now we're capitalizing on what our power is. So it's your economic. Right. So <laughs> now yeah. we're creating the flow. So once we realize where our power lies and how we can just start in small circles, like we're powerful people. We're very, you know, not only creative people, but we're very influential. Mm-hmm. So if we just stop paying attention to all the distractions and we say, okay, well, wait a minute, we got eight people in the room. I guarantee we, each one of us can make 150000 in the next year if we just sit down and actually look at revenue, what's actually on account. Most people only looking for cash, but they don't understand accounts. They don't know what revenue is. Yeah. They don't right. understand yeah. what an asset is. So if we make a decision that, okay, going forward, if each one of us got a skill, we come together the next day and say, well, okay, well, you gave me your resume. This is your equity. 
So now we can be able to say, okay, well, we may not have the capital to cover what your salary may be, but maybe if you invest some equity and we can maybe find funding to cover some of the equity that you rented on account, we can count the rest as an investment. Like we need to start having, thinking of high diploma. And how does that, how does that, I hear you, I hear you. So how does that help our community? What does that, what does that ultimately do? That helps put us in the arena to not the, only expand ourselves because policy starts with economics. That puts us in a better standing economically. Mm. Economics. And that helps us to tap into our social And I'm just power. asking questions. I'm not opposing anything. No, 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 that's anything. fine. I'm answering. So like, I got plenty of answers. So does that, help, <laughs> does that help the individual or does that help the community? It helps the Both. individual and yeah. it helps the collective right. because mm. we're individually working together as a collective. So if you individually change the way you think and you individually learn how to manage your wealth, which is your estate and your trust, then you will learn law. I beg to differ. you're going to need to understand what to do. I beg to differ, and I'll tell you why. Oh, um, please. Because we us. already have a lot of wealthy black individuals. Exactly. But they don't manage their own estate and trust. That's why we keep selling out. Because if you have a lawyer and you have a PR person, you have all these people handling your legal affairs. So, therefore, you're going to them and they're advising you, but then you end up in a situation Look, like our council where your lawyer you. was Let's able can to I, can convince I, you. I, I love you. Hold on. Can I say it no real quick? No, side no, because we want to talk about this. No, but then, this is but about this, but this is right, this is beyond this. Now, I done sat here and I done listened to all this shit that we talk about all the fucking time. But But listen to what I'm saying. I done sat here and I listened to this shit. Now, we talk about this shit all the time. Sister, I love your viewpoint. And I love the fact that all of you motherfuckers done said that shit at one point in time, and I done fucking heard it. And I'm tired of hearing it because we need to get together and do it. One. And two. Two. Put it on record that I am with him, okay? Two. Because I done done sat through through countless seminars. I done sat through countless classes. I done sat through (laughs) countless fucking events where motherfuckers is talking about all this shit. But motherfuckers ain't doing it. Let's do it. Stop fucking talking about it. Let's do it. But two. But dig this. Dig this. Now, what we need to also look at is the fact that we what we talking about is people getting demonized by the media and shit, right? There is generally somebody behind the scenes, and I know this shit because I done seen this shit, and a lot of y'all motherfuckers that been behind the scenes will hire up people. Y'all done seen this shit happen. It's generally one or a group of motherfuckers that's high up, and they choose motherfuckers to demonize for whatever petty ass oh, reason, yeah. for it's whatever reason in general. We that need to. They, that don't mean they don't need to be demonized. But dig this though. That's cool and all. But how the fuck do we combat that shit when it's undeserved? How do we? How, like they literally use that shit to take think, niggas out of political seats. Well, look, look, to make take niggas wait, out of wait, 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 all wait. Types of shit. I don't think it's ever deserved because I don't think you should ever. Take the humanity out of anyone, no matter what the fuck they did. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying like, yo, if a nigga did some fucked up shit, call him to the carpet. And and let look, nigga. The reason why motherfuckers still going at R. Kelly, cause he really ain't stepped up to defend himself. He can't. So by default, nigga, you guilty. But he is. How can he? But at the same time, the nigga never never stepped up. All the niggas gotta do it. I mean, he stepped up and said some shit. But low key, that shit looked like nigga. Step How many people He's do we know? Oh, I want to talk about different people because there's a lot of people here okay, in this okay. city Guys. that had to step down from their positions with certain happen. organizations well, that we happen. all know personally. And we it's looking at that shit like, why hey, the fuck you had to step down from it's that? Because a motherfucker done said some shit it's that politics, don't even matter nigga. to make their ass step the fuck down. It's How politics. the fuck do we combat that it's when there's people in them positions that need to fucking lead and do certain things, but you got motherfuckers behind the scenes demonizing their ass? Do what, though? What you mean? Do what? Do what? Be specific. That's a, Whatever they organization be is. I'm not saying names. I ain't gonna say no names. The people outside, I ain't gonna say no names. But you motherfuckers know who y'all is. My thing is this. If you put high up to do some shit, you put in a position to do some shit, and motherfuckers demonize your ass, because that's how politics go, because we just fucking said that shit, to get your ass out that motherfucking chair when you supposed to be doing some shit that's positive for the community, that's all this shit that we fucking talk about, how the fuck do we, as a community, combat the motherfuckers who is taking you out that chair because you're trying to do something positive? Yeah, Hold can on. I, ask I don't question? know. <laughs> what? Hey girl, what? What happened? Who got raised in the club? That's what I heard. That's a good ass point, too. It was a girl in Atlanta that was on live recording her. But she was dancing, butt naked, cheeks, and vagina out, all in the club. But nobody got raped. 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 Nobody got raped.
Please. What the fuck? This is my I whole prison, out, bro. Dude, you I'm are going to get some Please. I want to, I want to hold the room. Yo, 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 please. Real quick, real quick, okay? Who the fuck before, got before I, I anybody, to to before that. anybody, <laughs> before sad, right. before she anybody, look, 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 look. Come on, please, before you go make the fuck, make the mistake of putting yourself under the bus. Please just hold on one second before you fuck your own self up, okay? I ain't feel like okay? you keep talking to me like this. Okay? Please, please, I can't stand it. 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 I can't under your, I won't let you put yourself under the bus. Stop stuttering me. Okay, <laughs> this this conversation that we're having is so controversial that I do not want you to mistakenly put yourself under the bus. I'm going to address you. I'm going to address you. I'm going to address you. I'm going to address the audience. Please I'm going to address no the people time. who's watching. I understand. <laughs> so I'm going to ask either one question. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Or I'm gonna speak my piece, and I don't. I want to speak my speak piece. Speak your piece. Go ahead. Genuinely, bro. without being interrupted. Talk your shit, bro. No, you can't. I, I can't promise you that. We can't, can't promise you okay, that. Okay, I agree. I'll let, at least let me finish my point because I love her and I love everything she said. You know what I'm saying? Yo, but girl, right there, though. Fuck you the talking end, about. In the end, in the end. Watch your shit. Watch your shit. Fuck you talking about. Shit, nigga. Okay, talk about. okay. Right, I love that I love myself. You know that. I love that I love myself in order to be myself around my woman and never feel insecure Man, around my woman. Me? So don't tell me about my woman. I know my woman oh. before anybody else. Say your Period. point, bro. Yeah. Okay. Say your point. Stop now, your shit. Say your point. Nigga, Second bro. thing is that I love her and what she said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> everything, every, everything. Every, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because what she said, what hey. she was saying, what she was saying, she was giving you, she was giving you things from the from the side of. PR, you know what I'm saying? And I wholeheartedly agree with her until it comes to the point where... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I actually gave you... I, I, the first point was from PR. The second point was from being a, a social scientist and an engineer. Because I oh, do a lot shit. of research. So Ooh, I do shit. ethnographic work. And uh-huh. I actually study nigga, what, the culture. Let me tell you something else. The flow of uh-huh. media. So okay. what I'm yeah. speaking from is just okay. stuff that I've actually naturally observed. <laughs> So okay. it's not from a bias or a personal standpoint. Okay. Professional standpoint. And I, I agree with you, you know what I'm saying? But knowing what you study now, I noticed that you interrupted me before I even finished what I said. I didn't agree Ooh. with you. Oh, well, I thought we was all doing it, but I just... Go ahead. Know. Speak your piece. I know this nigga is not... So, so can he, can he say his piece? Please say your piece. Now, my question is, for a person who... For a person who who has someone like her, who's good in PR, who know, who understands public relationships, for someone who understands the spook who stand, who sat by the door, you know what I'm saying? My question for someone like like Will, if someone is like Will, who's sitting here with all this anger and all this patience, <laughs> he's a be angry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> all this anger and all this passion, hey, you know what I'm saying? Me, How does someone who is NPR match up with someone who knows the inside of business. Man, would you just business. ask your damn question? Oh, I'm asking my question, That's right, question now, right now. But she just interrupted me again. That's you know what I'm saying? Question, Go ahead, bro. We, we let them. Are, are you guys following? We follow. Okay, okay. Hey, ho, y'all follow it. Okay. Troll, troll. How does someone who works in PR <laughs> manage uh, work with somebody who understands the inside? The spook who sat by the door, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And how does the spook who sat by the door not be interrupted from the goal he's trying to reach? Because the spook who sat by the door was clearly doing some shit, building his community. So what in the what in what he was doing failed that couldn't that couldn't carry on? I'll tell you my answer before I let you guys answer. It was ego, straight up, because ego has been the whole heart of this squad cast. And now because we all respect each other and understand that we all bring something to the table we are taking a step back when we interrupt each other you know what i'm saying we understand that we interrupting each other we understand that we listening to each other i don't think i don't think you think ego is good i think ego okay okay let me say why ego ego the reason why i say ego because ego is different from pride you know what i'm saying we can put our pride aside for certain things ego is something that's in the heart 
Some ego is something that's in the soul. You know what I'm saying? And ego can trip easily. You know what I'm saying? Hello, so how name. can we have the knowledge of PR and not avoid an ego trip? You know what I'm saying? When you have someone like, I'll tell you right now, what from what I've seen, people who has the knowledge that you have fail to trust PRs in our own community. You know what I'm saying? And you saying ego we, is because of that? Or ego is the reason that people don't trust I'll people with right PR now, knowledge? I don't black believe that respect, at all. Black people no, respect... Black In some cases, probably, black but people not until it comes cases. down to trusting them. That's right. That might be. Yeah. That's not an yeah, ego thing, though. No. What is that? Is it not That's ego? a life experience. Okay, all right, all right. Not okay, ego, now let's let's run a life Let me say it again. Let me okay, let you, me you make sure y'all heard it. You said it. I want to make sure the audience heard it. Black people respect black people until it comes down to trusting black people. Okay. Why is that? If it's not ego, it's a life experience thing. Well. To be honest, should you trust someone simply because they're black? I'm just asking questions. Hell no. Hell no. (laughs) What the fuck are you talking about? No. So let me ask you this question. So so why do you make a blanket statement like that, bro? Because in Chicago, where we're from, know that squad cast, you know what I'm saying? In Oakland, black businesses, black Wall Street started in Chicago and in Oakland. Why did it die? You tell me. Ego. Really? Ego and anger. If ego doesn't make you angry, you know. Nah, there was some other shit. It was oh, some other shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, let's get down. Let's get down to it. Let's get down to it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Please, please, now interrupt me. Interrupt me, please. I, I beg you. I beg you to interrupt me. I beg you to interrupt me. You know what I'm saying? And tell me if. I, I beg you to interrupt me, knowing what ego is, knowing what pride is, and don't get so back you're saying, to pride. You're so, you're, so you're saying ego is why they fucking bombed like no. Black Wall Street? No. The black <laughs> ego? Can I know. Call? I'll tell you this. Can ego you is why black you're people... Saying? I said ego is why black people felt the need to throw their own waste, their own pride, their own... They, Burnt down their own community. That's not you true. You talking about him? Not only here. There's a lot. Right. You gotta think of Harlem Renaissance, the Black Wall Street. Come on. Black 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 okay, you're working. Tati got the title. Tati got the flow. In the interview, actual people that live during the Chicago Black Renaissance. Not uh, are you saying the people that was in media? Are you talking now? Are you talking, stories, now, are you, are, are you talking no, about the people in media or the people in the community? Because those are two different things. Uh, people in the community and the people in the want in, to talk about political. That's why when brother asked his question and he said, "Well, I forgot what the question was, but I was going to ask you what does policy? What governs policy? Economics. You can't mm-hmm. make a policy yeah. without economics. So it goes back to what economics is. It's not ego." We didn't have the you education. Used the wrong word. I mean, you, have, okay, you, it's what's not the better word? Ego. Ego. What's the better word? Ego. What's the better word if it's not ego? ego? The problem, the problem is, the problem because is, bro, no, the problem is that there's not just one no. word. I, I just okay. want to say something. Okay. Okay. There's not, not just said, one word. And somebody look up what ego means. Look up what ego means for me. They need to be corrected, not only heritage wise, but historical wise. The Chicago Black Renaissance did start. Most here. of the kids don't know their history, phone. so tell me. Let me tell finish me. what I'm Most saying. Most of the kids don't know their history. I just want you to. We, we, let, let me this for the kids, saying. cause we grow old as fuck so, right here, though. Uh, fuck is you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just asking you a question. All right, it, man, let's run the type shit. Yeah, it's time to go. It was not ego. It was the fact that we just weren't properly educated. You had certain people who studied in certain areas, like T.K. Lawless, you know, Robert Sinstad, you know, those people who came here that was able to open up markets for Ray Charles and people before they became famous. It wasn't ego. It was because these people were just getting out of slavery. Their parents were the people that were the sharecroppers. These were the people that were at the end. So they still did not know how to read. They still did not understand law. That's why you got, that's why we did get certain people like Tell Malcolm me what the X. People Wait, are, let me finish I what understand. I'm saying. That's Tell why we the, did get the people like Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm I knew X, was gonna bring that Noble up. Drew Ali, and all the people <laughs> because so that they up. had certain people that were around them that were not afraid to tell them the truth of what they actually experienced. So when you go back and you interview actual people that lived in Chicago during their time and you talk to our elders, 
that lived during the burn, they would tell you that they did not burn down their own stores, that they put it on the news, and it was uncolored people that came into Lawndale communities and the, okay. the Black Belt and burned down them, and they had guns protected in their businesses where they made it look like on the news we looted our own communities. If you go back to Oakland, they were it was not black people that was just only burning down. It was majority uncolored people that was going out there with the black people that were ignorant, but it was majorly uncolored people because they have to destroy in order to rebuild. They so go back. Hey, you address hey. my, I just want to make clear that she addressed my first topic of propaganda. Ego is a point, though. I said ego is what got us here. The black people that make it out the hood and never come back. It's, it's a lot of black people. But don't sit up wealthy, here and put like the whole wealthy, black oppression problem on the black ego. You, yeah. you can't. That's, that's, not, that's one can't, part of it. That's one part of it. I don't put it on black ego. I don't put it on black ego. And make that blanket statement. I don't put it on black ego. What is ego? Please tell me what ego is. You you brought the word. He has a definition of ego. He has a definition. People that go get educated and they never come back. They never teach other people. They look. And you have a lot of black people who get educated. When I speak, I don't speak towards one race. I speak towards humanity. I want to know what ego means. What ego means to the humanity. That's what I want to know. It's okay. not about black people. It's not about white people. At this point, it's about ego and anger. The definition of the ego is... The definition of ego is... Hold on, hold on. We got definition. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Bring it to the foundation. All right, all right. I got a statement and brother. I got the definition of ego. Go ahead. For my brother, the definition of ego is... It's two definitions. They got psychoanalysis and philosophy. Psychoanalysis is the part of the mind that mediates between the conscious and the unconscious and is responsible for reality testing and a sense of personal identity. Mm-hmm. Then no, philosophy so long, is, in metaphysics, a <laughs> conscious thinking subject. You ain't got no shorter definition. No, a person's sense of self-esteem or self-importance. Let me put you in, in, a, in, a, in a real definition. A person yeah, said, I wait, wait, say, say, say that again. And got in the house and thought he was white. Say so he came looking at the other two niggas. Hold on, I want to Please, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so that's... These guys, these guys, for the people he just gave a definition, guys. Start there. Okay, start there. Start at the definition, okay? He said it already. Say what you said. No, bro, no. He's not going to repeat the definition. He said it and everybody is Can I sum things up? I'm about to sum things up. Just say the definition. It's right there. Right. Let me sum it up. Let me sum it up so they can shut the fuck up real quick. Now, ego, like he just said, is how you put the shit that you deal with in your subconscious and the shit that you deal with in your conscious, how you put them both together and you make yourself how yourself is when you put unconscious and conscious together. I, that's right. what the fuck right. that is. So simply, simply put, put. Right. You no, no, well. Wale, 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 you said your point already. Hey, you said your point already. It's not even my y'all point. It's just a definition. Already. We all done. I'm gonna just sum shit up by saying y'all niggas wrong. All right. Hey. Ah! <laughs>